So, Greg Ostick in the Real Food Campaign Year One Report. Greg's a brilliant combination of being a farm boy, growing up on a 4,000 acre farm and having that practical get it done perspective along with being very intelligent and a engineer. Maybe he's a bit of a, a nerd or a geek, but he's also a activist and a radical and uh, his passion is open citizen science, um, working together to understand reality and work with it thoughtfully. And so he's the founder of uh, the Our Sci, which is our partner lab in the Real Food Campaign. He uh, is the one who has engineered with his collaborators the handheld spectrometer. Uh, they are running the lab where we're taking samples of soil and crops in from around the country and assessing their nutrient levels, calibrating them to the tool, correlating it to management practices. The foundation really of the scientific work of the Real Food Campaign Greg's doing and that's what he'll be reporting upon, hopefully inspiring more engagement. So it should be a really powerful uh, presentation by an understated but brilliant person. Jill Clapperton has been on the cutting edge of understanding nutrient density, handheld spectrometers, um, mineral balancing, agronomy, microbiome for 30 years. She was a consultant with Ag Canada. She uh, runs a company called Rhizoterra. She's a, a partner with us in the Real Food Campaign with her XRF handheld spectrometer. She'll be talking about how the community below the ground is central in any number of dynamics and how to manage for it. With, with decades of practical experience integrating the microbiome, the soil food web, with management practices, with genetics, with mineral testing, and foundationally about common sense how-to. Really a powerful and experienced presenter. So Robert Van Rissingham is a wonderfully gentle and underspoken man from Wyoming who's put together some really interesting pieces of, of information. Uh, one is Dr. Duke's database, which identifies the mineral levels in human systems that correlate with different types of diseases, diabetes, cancer, etc. And one is the USDA averages for what's in food. And there's actually RDAs, recommended daily allowances, for an amount of, say, chromium you need per day and the amount of chromium you need if you've got diabetes. And if you look at how many pounds of, say, lettuce it would take to get enough chromium to reverse diabetes, which we understand is possible from lettuce, it would be 400 pounds of lettuce per day. Most people are not gonna be eating 400 pounds of lettuce per day, but Robert has taken it to the next level and uh, put together sort of potting soil mixes with various different elements, uh, iodine and nickel and chromium, etc that correlate with different degenerative diseases so you can actually grow in your backyard in a in a in a, in a planter uh, lettuce that will be able to help you reverse degenerative disease um, address those mineral deficiencies that you or someone in your family may be experiencing extremely powerful practical you can do this for your family you know this winter inside uh, kind of information 